Hello and welcome back to another episode of Finding Rugby's Toughest Fitness Session. I'm Greg O'Shea and I'm here with the world-renowned, world record holder, Josh Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you here, man. Oh, what an intro. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're back in Chiswick Rugby Club. I died here a couple of weeks ago doing the Bronco Test. Ah, oh, baby! Today we're doing another famous rugby session called the Yo-Yo Test. As you can see the cones here behind me and some boots which are also marking the fire line because the wind is so bad the cones don't stay up. So look, we're not going to complain though. I'm a little bit dumsy from my day with Shane Williams. Josh has actually run marathons and everything in the past, so I'm definitely going to lose today. So I'm just here to have fun really. Um, but without further ado, should we get into it? Let's go. So today we're doing the Yo-Yo Endurance Level 1 test, which is basically like the bleep test. You're just running on the beep every time. And once you miss it twice, you get a warning for missing it once. If you miss it again, you're gonzo. So hopefully one of us can finish it. I think Josh will. I'm going to try my best. I mean, this is hands down one of the most savage tests there are, to be honest with you. I think we can all remember the equivalent of the bleep test back at school. No one enjoyed it. Um, has it changed much over the years? I highly doubt it. This is going to be one savage session. So this test does actually end at level 20, but very few people in the world have ever even gone there. I don't even think like the Richie McCalls of this world have managed to finish this test. But a little bit of me thinks that Josh can do it. He's mentally obviously there with all the marathons and world records he's done, so I'm really interested to see how he'll do. So a habit of mine that you've probably noticed throughout the series of Rugby Fit is that I say, oh baby, a lot. Oh baby, oh baby. Oh my legs are burning, baby. And I actually didn't really notice it until one of the boys said it, one of the camera crew. Um, and it's, it's come from one of my best friends back home. His name's Foster Horn, who always just gets stuck into the roughest situations. And if we're in a ridiculous fitness session or a really tough game, um, he'd just be like, oh baby, and it would get everyone together, everyone going again. That's where I get it from, the oh baby, and it just keeps me going. And I'm probably going to need it now in the middle of this yo-yo test as well. <laughs> okay, we're just about to get going now. I have a long seat top and a beanie on. Josh is in a <laughs> beater. I don't know, he's ready to go. He's pumped. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't know how we're going to get on, but I'm going to try and do it together with him. And uh, wish us luck. This is the yo-yo endurance test, level one. The test will start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Starting level one, one. Really slow to start, I'm sure. Level one, five. Ooh. Oh, I sabotaged his boots. One, six. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I gave him the dodge. We're going. No. <laughs> <It's, laughs> See you, bud. I'll get off to catch seven. up. That's a warning, friend. You missed the line, ref. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, this is full on, man. So there's like two, one. There's quite a few levels. Level oh, my God, two, it's gone already. Two. Ah, surely this, this is ridiculous. It can't be just There's so many levels. <laughs> These <laughs> laces are having me on here. <laughs> I've literally just tied them up. Yeah, it's a bit fast for me, to be honest. Six. It's all right, it's not level too bad. Two, eight. What kind of running technique you're going for? <laughs> on the heels. Level three. Not on the bottom two. of the foot. Always on the toes. On the toes? Tipsy toes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you run on the toes for your yeah, marathon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, level three. Really? Part, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you lean over slightly, and then just forcing yourself to just land on the tipsy toes. Level three, four. There's not much talking, no. <laughs> I think Josh just said it there. He need to get into his zone. It sounds really silly, but it's trying to find the right technique. Yeah. Try and reserve as much energy, five, as energy as possible, even things like crossing the line. Yeah. Try not to overcook it. Makes such a difference long term. Level five, six. Just a constant run now. <laughs> of course, we're rugby six, had to pick six. a marathon runner for this one. <laughs> Starting level seven, one. It's like I'm running with Edward Kipchoge two. here. Why can't we get the beast to do this one? Get him to do hot yoga. <laughs> level eight, six. Level nine, three. I forgot them today. Didn't bring them. Level nine. Four. Just trying to hold on to your life here. Ha! Let's level be early. Nine, 11. Oh. Starting level. We're ahead of the time. Level 10, 3. Level 10, 8. Level 10, 9. 
My back is doing. Woo! Level 11, 10. <sighs> Level 12, 2. Disappointed. My back there is just Level gone. 12, 4. Poor. It's a very poor performance. Level Let's go, 12, Greg. Five. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Level 12, 6. Level 12, 10. This is difficult. What I say is. Level super. 12, 11. This is the excuses. He is by far today the better man. Ah. 13, 4. Woo! Boy, oh. Bro, I got fast quick. I would say level 5. I knew it was game over. You were just finding such a nice rhythm there. You'd never turn though, really, would you? You're always straight line stuff, so. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize how fast that was gonna get. Like, I've done loads of yo-yos and beats. That's a different one. That's, that's straight into it. Like, so that's probably yeah. why it's called the yo-yo endurance. Cause it's just, you're, man, by level six, seven, we were like proper striding. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get anywhere near 20 here. So I think you got 13, four. It's just the turns. If you don't turn well, you're goose, but. I'll take it, I'll beat you, you're a world record holder. So. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, mate. Congrats, they're honestly the better man on the day one, but I'm, I'm very disappointed. That was a really poor performance for me no, man, today. It's really interesting, actually, yeah, because like you did four marathons in a day a couple of weeks ago, and you're going to do 250 kilometers in four days. There's no way in hell I'd be able to do that. So it's just different kind of fitness levels, isn't it? This is turning quick stuff, and even though I didn't perform as I wanted to, I, if I went out and tried to stay with you in a marathon, I'd be gone. So yeah. that's actually really interesting for me because coming in today, I was like, this guy's gonna absolutely smoke me, but different types of fitness it just shows all the different type, type of athletes. How do I rate that? You know what? I'm not gonna say it was maximum because what happened was it just got so fast that I couldn't stay with it anymore. So physically, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because I'm not out of breath now. I could go training now again, but it's just the pace got away from me. So seven out of 10 for me. Um, uh, yeah, I'd probably say seven out of 10. I think when you think 10 is like excruciating and I've been in 10s in my life, yeah. I would say seven. It was, it was uncomfortable. You could go run now again like if you wanted to, or if it was a 10 out of 10, you'd be literally dying right now, like you were after your marathon. So. For sure. I think that's the frustration is that neither of us are really dying right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, you've got to be better prepared for it. All right, so that's another rugby fit session done, the yo-yo test. If you try it, please put it in the comment box below and let us know how you got on. Also give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe and also give my boy Josh a follow on Instagram. He's a lot of cool content coming up.